Hi everybody, it's Exynis. Today I'm gonna review the new Wilson Blade V9 16x19. Let's go! So I'm really excited to review this racket, so we're gonna go quickly here and then uh, I'm gonna give you my rating of this racket. But if you don't know, I was a user of the V8 version, so I have high expectation for this V9. The thing that I really want to see is the stable field technology that should increase the stability of the racket, which I feel was lacking in this one. So if they can improve it, then it's gonna be a lot better. Um, you also have the easy grommet system that honestly doesn't really matter for you player. For us stringer, obviously it's helping a bit when we're wanting to change the grommet, but uh, definitely not a thing that will make you buy the racket, that's for sure. So for your specs, this is a 98 square inch head size with a 16 by 19 string pattern and the unstrung weight is 305 gram. The look of this racket is really clean. I really like it when it's glossy. This one with the matte finish is fine, but yeah, it's still looking uh, great. Let's go on the court. On the court with the new Wilson Blade V916 by 19, um, the first thing that I felt was really the difference in terms of stiffness. So you feel like the torsion of the racket is really different. The stability is also really different. So it feels like the V8, but a bit more stable. The thing that it will provide is uh, the fact that uh, when the ball will go out of the racket, it's gonna be a lot easier to have some uh, spin, some speed, uh, and overall your shots are gonna be a bit heavier. But I feel like it's a bit tougher to hit uh, the ball. So um, when you're not in the sweet spot, you're feeling it a bit more. I felt like with the V8, it was a bit easier to miss your shot and you know the ball will still uh, feel solid overall, but with this one, it's a bit tougher. I felt like at the net, um, it was really solid because of the stability. The 16 by 19 was really helping to feel the ball. Normally 16 by 19 are not the best at the net, but with this one, I felt like you had a lot of feeling. So it was really, really good. On the serve, it's a really uh, cool racket because you can do uh, flat, uh, kick and a slice serve with no issue at all so uh, yeah you can do pretty much everything obviously this racket is not going to provide you some extra power so you need to create your own power but at the same time it's not hurting you in the way that uh, you know it's not able to do uh, any sort of serve so yeah that's some great news So I feel like this new blade is just a step better than the V8. So in order for you to understand a bit what I'm trying to say is basically take the V8 and just make some small tweaking improvement to make it a bit better. And so this one is not like really a V9, it's more of a V8.5. Uh, but yeah, it's a really, really cool racket. I feel like it's now... Uh, much better than uh, the V8 because it's a lot more stable. You still have the comfort. So you have the best of both worlds because the V8 was really comfortable, but was lacking a bit of stability. This one is comfortable and has stability. So I feel like it's a, it's a really, really good improvement. And one thing that I like is that in terms of feel, it's not really changing. It's really control oriented. You feel like, um, yeah, it's still a blade. The, the thing that is a bit different is that you're not feeling that here on the top, it's moving that much. You know, I felt like with the V8, it was moving a lot like this when you were hitting, but uh, with this one, it's a lot more stable. So it will provide a bit more power, a bit more uh, feel at the net for drop shot and all that stuff. And so overall, it's really, uh, really good. So for the rating, I gave the V8 uh, 8.45 if I remember well uh, so with this one I would go with uh, 8.55 out of 10. Thanks to Racketville for letting me try this racket for you without them it would not have been possible 
Don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe. And see you next time. Bye bye. Gotta find my way to you, even though you're next.